This is part three of my Belgian Malinois painting and I'm going in here and I'm lightening up this entire edge and down into here I'm bringing color. So I've got uh, my photo of the dog I've got enlarged here and I've used um, ultramarine blue, some burnt umber, burnt sienna and some white to make this gray blue color. So I'm loading it up on my palette knife, getting, getting just a sharp edge here. And you can see where I'm taking my palette knife and just laying in you know, some shim shapes. And with, with a dog, all these little hairs. And overall, this painting, you know, I, I don't want every little hair to show, but I do want some some hairs around the face, around the eye. Well, the whole painting's a face. Around the eye to show. So I'm just laying in these little lines where I want this different value, which is a highlight on the nose. So I'm laying a few more in. It's like little hairs. I love how that's looking. So I'm setting my palette knife down and I'm picking up a really thin brush. It's got little, the bristles are kind of chopped up so you can get a hair technique if you lay it flat. Well, it's so thin I'm going to use the edge. So I'm going to come in here and I'm grabbing the paint from the palette knife and I'm just feathering it. I'm just making a wispy, touching the color and dragging it out to a finer point. And at a distance, you know, looking at this painting, you're not going to be able to see this because it's it's going to be too fine, you know, because it's a big painting, unless you get up really close to it, and I think this painting is going to be too high to see it, but the effect will be neat. So uh, anyhow, I'm just dragging these out. I don't want to cover up my base color paint too much, so I'm just, again, grabbing where the palette knife was and dragging it, but not to totally lose all of the palette knife work. Because I think it's kind of cool to leave some of the paint just catching the texture of the canvas. I just did an oil painting of an Irish setter on a semi-sanded board, which, oh my gosh, the texture on that board was, was really cool to work with. This is much bigger than that board came in. So it's, this is a really, really, really light touch that I'm, I'm doing here. Just to, again, to feather out the palette knife. And the, the cool thing that for me with the palette knife is you can control how big you lay your paint down and you don't have to worry about the paint running out on the bristles. And uh, then you come back here and just feather it like this. So everybody has their own technique. I don't know people, other artists do this or not. They probably do, but uh, just kind of a fun for me and gives me a little bit more control of the, the paint. So now when I come out here, see we have some nice little highlights that I'm bringing in here around the eye, eyebrow, I've done the same thing with the palette knife. I'll just pull some of this out. I don't want to cover up my underpainting work. I need to blend up in here. I need more color up in this area. So I think I'll probably do that. And then uh, up in here I need some darker colors to blend some of this light that I've done. But it's you know, going back and forth. So it's, I think it's it's coming along beautifully. I hope the person that's commissioned this painting is going to be pleased. Signing off for now.